Hi guys, welcome back to Dr. I YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about veins of the arm. So, the arm's venous system is divided into superficial and deep veins. From this diagram, we are going to talk about deep veins. And from these diagrams, we are going to talk about superficial veins. Deep veins follow the arteries and two veins accompany each artery up to the armpit. Remember that deep veins follow the arteries and two veins accompanies each artery up to the armpit. So here you can see the deep veins of the arm. As I told earlier, these deep veins follow the arteries and two veins accompany each artery until the armpit. So here you can see the deep palmovenous arch. Here in pink color, you can see the radial vein and this radial vein run along the radial artery and drain the lateral aspect of the forearm and its origin from the lateral part of the deep palmovenous arch. So this is the radial vein. And from this light blue color lines, you can see the ulna vein. It runs along the ulna artery and drains the medial aspect of the forearm. And it origin from the medial side of the deep palmovenous arch. And these two veins joins together at the elbow to form the brachial vein. So, in this green color lines, you can see the brachial vein. So, this brachial vein are paired veins that run alongside the brachial artery in the upper arm. And this begin at the elbow from the unine of radial and ulna veins and travel up to the shoulder. And in this red color, you can see the basilic vein. It is a superficial vein, but in this point, it merged with this brachial vein to form the axillary vein. So, in this purple color line, you can see the axillary vein. And this is the basilic vein. And it was a superficial vein up to this point, And it get merged with the brachial vein to form this axillary vein. This axillary vein begins with the lower border of teres major muscle and it travels through the axilla and after the outer border of the first rib it continues as the subclavian vein. So in this orange color line you can see the subclavian vein. So these are the deep veins that can be seen in the arm. Deep veins mean they are located deeper in the tissues and the special thing about these deep veins are these deep veins follow the arteries and two veins accompany each artery up to the armpit. So now let's talk about the superficial veins of the arm. Superficial mean they are closer to the skin. So here you can see the dorsal venous arch. From the medial end of the dorsal venous arch, the basilic vein arises. And from the lateral end of this dorsal venous arch, the cephalic vein arises. So these two veins arises from the back side of the arm. Then they move to the anterior side of the arm. So you can see here this basilic vein starts from the back side of the arm and move to the front side of the arm. And it ascends along the medial side of the arm. Near the elbow, this basilic vein pierces the deep fascia to enter the deep venous system. As you can see here, this basilic vein pierces the deep fascia in this point and joins with the brachial vein to make the axillary vein. Okay. And when we talk about the cephalic vein, it also origin in this posterior side and move to the anterior side and ascends along the lateral aspect of the arm. Then it curves around the delta pectoral groove and joins the axillary vein. So these are the two main superficial veins that can be seen in the arm. Basilic vein and the cephalic vein. The another important vein in the arm is the median cubital vein. Here you can see that 
So this median cubital vein connects the cephalic vein in the lateral side with the basilic vein in the medial side. So there is another important vein in this arm and it is known as the median antibrachial vein. This vein starts from the palmar venous plexus and ends in the median cubital vein or basilic vein. So this runs along the midline of this forearm in the anterior side. Sometimes this median antibrachial vein divides into two parts as medial cephalic vein and median basilic vein like this. In this situation, this median cubital vein is absent. Remember that when this median antibrachial vein divides into median cephalic vein and median basilic vein, this median cubital vein is absent. So I think you could get a clear idea about these veins. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.